We're back, people, and today we're breaking down film on the Miami Dolphins defense. We're going over their performance against the Patriots. They look dominant, picking up where they were last year at the end of the season, which is very good because the Dolphins defense had a slow start to last season, which led to them struggling uh, very early on as a team because the defense really carried them to a lot of wins last season. Uh, very aggressive, very opportunistic again. Uh, at the start of this game, they're playing in a very bend but don't break mentality. Letting up these runs, letting up some quick passes. Patriots were kind of moving the ball against them. And then they go into an aggressive cover one. Force Mac Jones to make a tough throw down the field in a one-on-one -on -one situation. And then you go to Howard and Holland and they're the two biggest uh, turnover machines on the team. They have two of the best ball skills out of any defensive backs I've ever seen. And you go into cover one here. Mac Jones... Sees the one-on-one -on -one opportunity with a, his big body receiver in Parker. Thinks he should take it. Nothing else is looking really open at this point. He tries to hold the safety so Holland isn't there. Howard's in perfect position. Plays this ball. Turns back into the receiver. His eyes. He does get a little grabby here, I will admit. But savvy. Doesn't get, doesn't, it doesn't get called on this one. Ends up getting called later in the game, which it shouldn't have. So I guess this made up for it. But very heads-up play very high football IQ just get that football up and tip the ball up into the air knowing that possibly you had free safety help and if Holland gets there which he is a very good free safety very good range he could be close enough for the pick and he's there just opportunity preparation very good work by the Dolphins creating these turnovers get the interception this is what their defense does they are a big turnover heavy team they will let you get some easy yardage at times and then they'll get very aggressive on you Flip it like a switch, send a f like five, six people, have a QB spy, and then let your playmakers make plays. This was sort of that turning point because the Patriots offense was driving, was looking good early, and this sort of flipped that early momentum to the Dolphins side, and then the defense kept getting better and better as the game went on. First time, Dolphins sort of win their cover zero package, and it worked like a charm. This was another drive where the Patriots were looking good, getting down the field with their quick passes, quick decisions. Dolphins finally going to cover zero. They understand how to set this up perfectly. Look at 52, Roberts here. Comes down into like the A-gap, showing that he's going to blitz. They have three to both sides right here near the line of scrimmage. And then Roberts sees that the center is sliding to his side. So he drops back into coverage. And then this creates this open gap for Ogba. 77 has to go out to here. 69, the left guard has a guy straight up. So Ogba gets the opportunity. They win the three on two to this side. They show three on two here. Have three on two to the other side because Robert drops back into coverage. They do a really good job manipulating those centers into whatever side they want. Like what this is basically how they do this. When the center, if he would have slide slid to the left here and then made it three on three to this side, then Roberts would have come, creating a three on two opportunity on the back side. So it's just very well schemed. This creates big plays. And Mac Jones has struggled under pressure, specifically against the Dolphins. Whenever he sees these pressures right away, he's made some poor decisions or he'll just drop to the ground immediately. And this is what creates those big opportunities for the Dolphins. They did this only a few times in this game, but when they brought the blitz, it led to a touchdown, as I'll show later in the game, or pretty much in a few plays here, but just another really good play from the Dolphins defense. Love how they work schematically, still doing the same stuff that they've been doing, been doing the past couple years. Right after the blitz, it's second and long, and the Patriots decide to run the ball, and the Dolphins seemed like they expected. They were playing like a run-heavy box. Really good job by Wilkins here. Athleticism, identifying the play. We'll see it better from this spot. Comes into the one tech. Wilkins is too athletic. Gets off the ball too quickly to be reached from the backside guard here. Just identifies this play. Rips underneath. Gets into the backfield. Creates this tackle for loss. Another two-yard loss. This is now third and long. Get them out of field goal range. High-level stuff by the Dolphins. They clearly still expected run based on the pre-snap look from the Patriots. Patriots were running all over them. And even though it's second and long, you never expect them not to run. And here we go. Identify the run. Key, good keying diagnose from Wilkins. This was probably his best play in the game here. And then gets that left arm underneath, dips underneath, rips that shoulder, and then squares up the running back. 
big play from here. These were momentum shifting plays on drives that the Dolphins always do. They will let up some big plays and then once they allow the big plays, they'll make the big plays back themselves and then end these drives with them. Very good stuff from the Dolphins defensive line and schematically from the defensive coordinator from the Dolphins. And the play of the game goes to Brandon Jones off the edge, disguising the splits. Really good job there. And then the acceleration to close. I made a video a while back calling Brandon Jones like the best blitzing safety in the NFL. And he's proven me right here. He just does a really good job sneaking up to the line pre-snap, knowing the eyes. Mac Jones never saw him coming. The tight end's going out for a route, so he has no one to block him. And he just closes like a missile. Attacks with a perfect angle on the ball, the outside shoulder to get this ball out, creates the big opportunities. And the Dolphins just always score touchdowns. I don't know how they do it defensively, but with their style of defense, they make these big plays, whether it be sacks, interceptions, fumbles, whatever it is. And Brandon Jones was lights out this game. One of the best players on the field. He looked even better in coverage, which I'll show on the next play. But he was all over the field, flying around. You can use him in multiple different spots. Love the versatility. We'll definitely get into more player-specific breakdowns as the season goes on and I get more and more plays. So let me know which players you want to see first. But I will definitely be breaking down a lot of Dolphins and a lot of rookies from different teams around the NFL. But yeah, really big play, game-changing play from Brandon Jones. Dolphins running cover three sky. This is like the first play right after the big turnover. Brandon Jones then dropping it into a cover three sky makes a good play on the ball this is not even brandon jones's strength uh coming out of college and even the first couple seasons in the nfl but he has definitely improved here gets out to the flat he's the curl flat defender gets eyes back to jones sees that he's coming gains depth ends up flipping his hips here which he probably shouldn't have done but he still has his eyes on jones sees the release coming Flips his hip back around to get into position. So really good recovery here. Now he has no eyes. When you have flipped your hips, you're in a tough, this is a tough play to make. No eyes on the QB. Then flips his head back around. Gets his hands out there. Doesn't have the best ball skills like to create interceptions that I've known. But still making play on a ball. Love to see the improvement there. So yeah, Jones showing out in coverage as a curl flat defender. Even made a play in man-to-man -man coverage uh, versus tight end. And then was obviously the big sack fumble which was really the big momentum shift in the game gave the dolphins all the momentum and i mean the patriots only ended up scoring seven points so that gave us enough to tie right there so really good stuff from brandon jones we got cater kohu here made huge plays in this game like three big game changing plays and he was all when he was in he was making these plays very well good job identifying this run here this turns second and long into third and long after they were driving again. Just a very good player. I didn't expect him to make this big of an impact this early. That video that I made on him did very well. I thought he was going to be a very solid man coverage defender, but he was making plays in the slot, in zone, and versus the run. Just doing your job as a force defender here. Identify running. He's playing like as an overhang. Doesn't allow the alignment to reach him. He gets downhill with quick feet and stays square. So once he sees the pitch, gets down, takes a good angle to the outside, maintains a good relationship with the running back to force him back in, but doesn't get too wide to give up a big cutback lane. And then also doesn't allow the alignment to get out to him. And then gets the tackle. Just really good stuff. Plays like a little jitterbug in pretty much every situation that he's in. I love the play. I love that he was able to make such a big impact early on. Because when I watched his preseason film, and broke down that video on him. He looked really good. I'll leave that video in the description if you haven't seen it yet. But yeah, big time plays from a guy that I expect to be a big time player for the Dolphins. Here's the crazy sort of illegal contact that called, called on Howard. It's fourth and one. Dolphins go into their cover zero. Nothing else is open. So Jones just takes his one-on-one -on -one shot to Parker down the field. And Howard pretty much plays with perfect coverage. Gets hands on. Perfect position. High outside leverage to basically perfectly play the ball at the catch point. Ball ends up getting overthrown, but he's just sort of boxing Parker out, gives him no chance to make a catch at the catch point. I don't think this is a penalty. This ends up being the penalty that leads to the Patriots scoring later on, but 
just really good coverage from Howard. This is the type of thing you want to see the Dolphins defense doing. Creating opportunities. Fourth and one. Get aggressive. They don't even create pressure on Mac Jones. But nothing else is open. So it forces him to attack Howard. Which you want the defense. This is what you're expecting. You want Howard to get as many opportunities to make a play on the ball as possible. Because he creates these turnovers. But it leads to, you know, them calling illegal contact. I don't really see it. But... It is what it is. They only give up seven points from this, but if it, this play wasn't called illegal contact, could have led to the Patriots being shut out. This was the touchdown. Definitely the biggest negative of the day for the Dolphins, uh, defensively at least. This play could have been either on Phillips or Howard, depending on the call. I believe it was Phillips just getting out leveraged to the flat, because Howard carries Parker here, gets his hands on. He might think that he only has one on one to the matchup to the backside, so he doesn't have to worry about the running back. But the running back comes out to the flat. Howard carries his guy. Phillips is playing more of like a hook curl defender than a curl flat defender. And it's just an easy decision for Mac Jones. Running back even rolls into the end zone. He's so wide open. So this play could have been on Howard. He might have just been supposed to, you know, feed the receiver to the inside, inside help, get hands on, and then stay out to the flat. Or Phillips just got out leveraged to the flat and was playing the wrong type of coverage. To me, I would guess it was Phillips. That's just what it looked like. Howard carried his guy to the inside. Phillips is not known for being a coverage guy. I don't probably should just let him rush because that's where he's at his best. But, you know, these types of plays happen. This was only the real negative of the day for the Dolphins defense. And, you know, this is going to happen in week one. Dolphins offense also had some negatives, but I definitely expect that with a new off like new play caller, new offense. But they definitely had their positive as well. Enough promise was shown. I'll release a video on the Dolphins offense tomorrow. But, yeah. This type of stuff's going to happen. Not too worried about the Dolphins' defense at all. They're going to let up some plays like this just with the nature of their defensive play style. Dolphins still, they're only up like two scores at this point. Like two scores and the Patriots score two touchdowns. They could take the lead. Potentially, I believe they're only up like 13. Uh, good job here. Dolphins are showing pre-snap that they're going to probably be in a single high safety look. They're showing a lot of pressure pre-snap. It's third and about six. I love the disguise here pre-snap because it ends up rotating into an inverted cover two, almost like a Tampa two. And good job by Duke Riley gaining depth here from Duke Riley's lined up like sugaring the A-gap. He's showing blitz and he makes a play, you know, 20 plus yards down the field. So really good stuff here. Look how they rotate this. They have a cover two. They have the corner blitzing. They have Jones rotating down to be the flat defender. Kohu's in the slot and rotates to be one of the deep half. Holland goes from middle of the field to be the other deep half. So they are disguising heavy. They rotate into this. Then Duke Riley has to get downfield and then carry the number two vertically. And good job by Holland. Holland actually might have made a play on this ball too. He recognizes this. He's supposed to be the deep half defender over here. But he reads Jones quickly. Sees nothing's really threatening him to this side. Sees Jones release the ball. He's still playing tight to this side. So he's leveraging this. And still might have had a chance to make a play at the catch point. Because it hits the ball, the ball hits Duke Riley in the back. So yeah, just really good defense. Like schematically, they disguise the cover three, maybe cover one look pre-snap. Rotate into an inverted cover two. Blitz the corner off the edge. Safety comes down. And then Duke Riley makes an impressive play. Blocking this ball with his, you know, his butt, I guess. But <laughs> good job here. Just an interesting play call having, you know, your slot rotate to deep half. But yeah, and then Holland. Holland, after that pick, didn't get to do too much. They didn't really target him. You know, when you're deep playing free safety, you're not getting in the action all the time. But this play could have been a big play for him. But yeah, third and six. Forced them to punt when they're getting towards midfield. Another big, big stop from the Dolphins defense. We got Sealer here. One of the most underrated defensive linemen in the league. Made that video too. Just making a huge third and three stop. Dolphins just kept making these big plays around midfield and these big third down fourth down situations and sealer wins right away with a swim move feels the tackle coming down on him so this is a very smart play from him to avoid the double team he avoids this double team stunting to the left here throws the alignment uses leverage against him swim over has the core strength he basically takes on almost three people here because then the guard tries to get to wilkins but he's late there just really good stuff. Core strength gets hit low in the hip with his body given up like this. And he still 
is able to get in, make the play on the running back. That is a high level play. About as good as it gets on a D lineman in these short yarded situations versus the run. To get to the left, get into your gap, avoid the double team, use throw the one out lineman to the ground. Don't even let the tight end really affect you with play strength. Good balance. Just very good stuff. Another game changing play. Sealer was very solid in this game. Had a pass deflection at the line of scrimmage and was just very consistent versus the run when it was his opportunity to make a play. Patriots decide to go for it the very next play and Kohu makes another huge play to almost put this one away. He's playing as a hook curl defender in like a cover two here. But once, you know, it goes into a scramble drill, once they come into your zone, everyone just sort of mans up the defenders that come into their zone once it's been long enough. Jones has had a lot of time in the pocket, so Kohu gets into Hunter Henry's hip pocket once he comes into his zone. Nothing too crazy early on. Just feels it. Stays in perfect positioning. Times it. Good tracking. Ball skills. Uses sort of a hook and swat. Plays through the hands. Just everything that you want to see from a young DB. Very good ball skills right at the point of attack. We'll be able to see it better in the other angle, but this is fourth and three. And to have an undrafted rookie out of Texas A&M Commerce just come in and make plays. Can't see Kohu yet. Jones is trying to direct traffic, just takes the opportunity. Thinks Henry can box out a smaller DB, but Kohu's just in perfect positioning. The timing, the tracking, ball skills. Plays that is about as perfectly as you can as a DB. I just like he just looks the part right away in pretty much every area. First the run, athletically. He looks to understand the game mentally. It's not too fast for him. He's clearly physical, even at his size. Not the biggest guy. He's also not the smallest guy either, but clearly doesn't look outmatched. Not getting boxed out by tight ends. Playing pretty solid in zone coverage. And then in the preseason, we didn't get to see him play too much man to, like today or against the Patriots. But he looked apart in man-to-man -man in the preseason. Just making big-time plays in a big-time moment as an undrafted rookie in your first game. You love to see that. I love that for him. Really, really excited and honestly even kind of proud of Cater Kohu. The last play of the game from the Dolphins defense and Cater Kohu puts the game away for them with the big hit. Look at the instincts, the awareness. Look how quickly he processes this play. Dolphins are running cover three. He's a hook curl defender. He's to the backside of the three by one. So he gains depth. He's in the hook curl. He gets his eyes to the backside knowing that he doesn't really have to help too much on this backside unless it, they run a dig. Just reading the QB's eyes, seeing that this sort of the tide, or uh, I think it's Aguilar, coming in open on that sort of angle route. No one there identifies it, sticks his foot in the ground, sees the ball being thrown, and closes quickly the acceleration, the angle to the point of attack. Love, he's just got that dog in him, the physicality. Plays it through the ball, forces the fumble, ends the game. This is the last play for the defense. Just love this. Nothing else threatens his zone. Just reading the QB's eyes, identifying what the route concept is, and then quick transition. Like everything, textbook technique at the point of attack with the tackling, throws his shoulder right into the ball. Like, <laughs> look how happy. Like, I love this for him, man. Just seeing him ball out in his preseason debut when I. Pretty much just found out about him from the preseason and then balling out in the postseason or not in the post in the the regular season just super excited for the kid love that he made big plays in the big time moments so yeah if you guys enjoyed make sure to leave a like comment and subscribe just a really exciting game for the miami dolphins defense looked good very good against the patriots to uh improve to 4-0 against them Mike McDaniel's scheme looked good. Dolphins defense picked up right where they left off. So yeah, make sure to leave a like, comment, and, and subscribe if you want to. If you don't, that's cool too. I'll see you guys next time. Peace.